All right, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. We are going to finish this up. I'm going to grab the last coin um, for the In for a Penny quest, which is up here in Miner's End. And then we are going to, um, I think, complete the A Mother's Love, and that would bring a conclusion to the game, because that's the main story arc quest. So we just need coin number two. Which we just passed somewhere. I need to go up and over. Oh, oh nah, man, okay. It's gonna be in a backyard somewhere. Um, here we go. There's the symbol. Oh, there it is. You might be surprised by how much speech can differ from one group of people to another. Even if they all reside upon the same small island, success or failure of a mission can sometimes depend on whether you use the correct terminology in front of the right people. For example, there is a curious place in Miner's End. Um... Just a second. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, curious place in Miner's End where three uniquely named streets share the same common nickname, Bloody Road. The aristocrats call one of these roads bloody because a certain woman lives on it who assists with the issue of unwanted children. Wolfgang call one of the roads bloody because they were unable to extend their territory past it and were always repelled by the righteous. The fishermen call one of the roads bloody because the great many of them died on the cliffs near it. There's a city block between three roads on the porch of one of the buildings. There you will find your coin beneath a loose floorboard. So there are three uniquely named streets. Cliffs. Um, well, there's no cliffs down here. We know that. Um, what was the gang? The wolves? The wolf gang? I think we're going to need to ask around to get a little bit more information here. So, let's ask. Are you able to help me? Can't say I know. Okay, but at least she didn't say, fuck off, you're not my kind. Is this familiar to you? I don't want to talk to you, mister. Okay. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Yes, John, who I know. I know how it works. Shut up. Are you able to help me? I've heard something, but... Actually, no. Never mind. I know nothing. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's very helpful. May I ask you something? No, sir. I won't talk to you. You obviously haven't thought... Shut up, John. This all through. Or are you just... In the are you able to help purpose? me? I cannot. Sorry. Can I ask you a question? I cannot, sorry. You obviously haven't thought this all through. John. Well, you just annoying family. these people on purpose. John. Despite being used, these goods are still fine. Take a look. May I ask for your assistance? Huh? Of course I know. To cut a long story short. Hound Road is called Bloody by the Fisherman. Okay, that might be enough right there. Hound Road. Um, and that intersects with bridge. But that's it. Here it intersects with... Uh, wait, do they intersect? Uh, no, it says that there's a city block between the three roads. City block between the three roads. OK. 
could be here somewhere. Um, let's dress like a criminal and find a criminal with the wolves. Okay. One man's trash is another man's furniture. I'm looking for a tough guy here. I'm going to pin up here. Because if I'm right, we'll see criminals in that area because it's wolf Extra. territory. Extra! Blind you! The cheapest news on the island. I don't know why I'm buying these. They seem to be effectively meaningless except for putting a note in John's journal. Oh, hold on a sec. I do want to see that because maybe... Um, art stolen children. Ah, see, that's why I didn't want to just give her the painting to sell and start a new life. Yeah. I just didn't want it to be used for a workhouse. I, I, whatever. Um, Mr. Heinrich Christopher, the murderer of the during duel, was to be freed. Failed to provide persuasive proof of his guilt to a skeptical jury. Face a minor charge of negligence. Mm. Police stormed and chose mention of blood. Several attendees of the gala were. Was the owner of the house, Mr. Kerman, who was responsible for murdering Fabio, if the young man rejected his sentence for such a... Okay. So that one seemed to be correct. I guess I botched the other two. Um. Okay. Unfortunate, but I'm not going to linger. And I'm definitely not going to redo them, just so I can get... Results of a different choice. I guess it is what it is. There we go. Got some tough guys here. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. Bridge Road is called Bloody by the Wolf King. So, Hound, I'm guessing Hound, Bridge, and Poe. So it must be down here. Uh, what was the third group? Just in case I need to ask somebody. Uh, fishermen we already got. Wolf we already got. Um, I guess I need to dress as a woman. Yes, how very Norman Bates of me. Is this familiar to you? I have nothing to tell you, sorry. May I ask you something? I can't answer your question. You have wasted your time, I'm afraid. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. John. Ah. Oh. All right. Um well, we're near the pin. I think it's somewhere. I think it's somewhere in there. Um, and we're looking for a... On the porch of one of the buildings there. I think if we can find a building with a porch, we will have... Nice to see you. Can I ask you a question? I hear a lot, but not about this. Sorry. Maybe down here. Nope. Okay. 
Um, oh, we also have a concentration. <laughs> okay, it's not down the alley because that's the back side of houses. So, all right, these two houses have porches, but I th think it's going to be. I think it's going to be on the other side. Hello. Oh. There it is. Thirty Tari. This coin was once stolen from Father. Many years later, Mycroft found it in a private collection and persuaded the owner to return it. This coin depicts Hompesh, the last Grand Master of the Order to govern in Malta. I believe this coin was minted during the French occupation. We've got them all, Sherry. Let's get back to the manor. I know just the room for our coins. I hope you're not suggesting my room. Okay. We got them. Um, yeah, let's head back. Uh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Um, there is the treasure, there is the ghost hunter, and there is this Mycroft case, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just see. I think that this might be the end of the game. If not, then I guess we'll have a bit more to do. So, Let's check out the coin collection first. Is it... Still here. Nope, it's gone, so it must be in the room. Mm, no. Don't see it. went then um am i sure it's not back here oh got the the mask it was truly an unforgettable event and the picture that we gave away but now i hope i will have a chance for revanche with you monsieur lupin that we gave away um where, what happened to the coins they're just gone I heard footsteps upstairs a second ago. Wait, do we have an attic here? Okay, let's head out to the back garden then. See what see what we see. Did I get any new John's diary coins? Any target? Okay. Um, pond, cozy gazebo. Do we have any more connections to make? No, no. And no. Okay. I still feel like there should be. The local justice system in all its glory. <sighs> Are you blocking my way, John? Sherry, Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. I don't know what is beyond this door, but I can feel it. Buzzing, angry, like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And truth? We do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona. So many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. No, it, uh, it doesn't... Oh, is that supposed to be a clue? That as soon as I walk through this door that... It's a point of no return. Um, well, I should have saved it. I find myself awash in uncertainty. Perhaps now is not the time with so much left to do. Thank you, Sherlock. Thank you. Some doors can remain closed. Cordona still calls for us, yes. And uh, we will answer. But know this, John. 
One way or another, we will find ourselves back in front of this door, unable to avoid the truth any longer. Throw down a save. All right, let's do it. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. There is no coming back from this. Please. John, my animum, my brother, there is nothing more important in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me, but my path was set long ago. I think John fears for himself. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. I think he's afraid that he's going to disappear if you deal with this trauma. And honestly, from the reaction that we had before, he probably should be. Alright, so it's been ten years of nobody tending this back garden, so... Wow, this is... Way... Why didn't I remember we had such a big garden? Yeah, way Maybe bigger than I thought. Maybe you forgot it for your own good. I... Oh, and I've changed into my standard Sherlock outfit. Oh my god. I feel like there's so much to do here, but there probably isn't. There's a sandbox here. It's got some toys in it. There's a wooden rocking horse over there. There's a statue with some garden lights. One of them fell over. There's a swing. There's a gazebo. There's a freaking pond back there. And John just kind of cowering behind a tree. What, what, are, you, what are you doing over here? That's the descendant of a tree your father planted in London. Correct? Indeed, we planted the sprout here, and for a while it grew happily. Alas, it seems without us here to care for it, it didn't survive. Unfortunate. I guess I'm going to start here, work my way around. Pretty good shape from sitting outside for ten years. Is there anything over here? Oh, I can't run. This is my fastest pace. That's too bad. Okay. The statue looks in worse condition than the hobby horse. Ah, yes. The statue of Merope. My mother was trying to restore it. Pity she never had the opportunity to finish. Yeah. Well, you know, that's how it goes. No matter when it happens, we always leave some of the work some done. Uh, I'm gonna check out back here because there seems to be a piano randomly. Oh. She's sitting at the piano, but she's all fuzzy. Okay, we'll come back to her. Is that the raft we made together, John? Looks more like a pile of rotten planks now. It was probably a pile of rotten planks back then as well. You guys were children after all. There's a wicker basket that's been here this entire time. And a blanket? This is very unlikely. Uh, I would love to be able to run. I understand it uh, lends less gravitas to the situation, but this is very slow. A garbanzo. With a table with nothing on it. Okay... Well, to the piano, then, I guess. It seems to be where we're supposed to go. I got stuck on a tree. Another two. Okay. Well, it's a lot better than having an actual piano out here. That would be a little odd. Teacup cracked. That's from Mother's favorite tea set. What is it doing in here? Oh, I'm in control of this. I thought it was a cutscene. Um, we are upstairs near the desk with the coin collection. This is Mother's room. arguing with somebody. That's 
Oh, uh, that's the doctor. Okay, so this is the day that we recalled before. I need Come here, to, Hurry. Yeah, I need to do, go where I was and hide down here, apparently. Potassium bromide. These must help calm her down. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? Oh my god, did we spike her tea? Did we spike her tea with extra medication to try and help her and it led to her drowning in this fucking pond? Is that what's gonna happen? Is that the story here? Did we as kids think that we were helping by giving her extra medication and it led to her dying? God, I certainly hope not. Um, okay, I'm starting to feel really uneasy about this. I mean, she was supposed to have drowned, but I don't see anything in the pond. Wait. The book. Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. I remember this artifact from Mother's collection. Okay. Okay, we're in the curio cabinets. This is where we were hiding before. Here it is. We'll just borrow it for a while. Did you hear that? Someone's coming. Let's take a peek. This is where Mycroft and the Doctor were arguing. You call this progress? progress. Short. Short. Amateur. Amateur. I'm not, I'm not letting you anywhere near my mother again. again. Any result is progress, even if it is a worsening of her condition. It informs my... No. I have made my decision. She must be sent to a legitimate medical facility. I will not let her hurt Sherlock. What? Master Holmes, you do not understand. That will be all. I expect you to have left the house by week's end. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. I'm mm. waiting for you. Okay. Hurt Sherlock. Sherlock. Come here, darling. Okay. Doctor Richard experimented on my mother with unconventional drugs and treatments. Every dose had a risk of side effects. My mother used sedatives frequently, so her body must have built up a tolerance. It wouldn't be a danger to her. Oh, man. Hmm. I don't think that that's the case. Um... Hopefully there will be I'm more. waiting for you. Coming, mother. This was from my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. Yeah, and there's a bunch of ash underneath it now. That's weird. Um, I guess we're Take me to, to my way. flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, Mum. Flowers. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on. If you want. That would be wonderful. Look, flowers. Behold. Just look at them. 
The stars of the earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. It looks so peaceful. Am I going to push Mother, her into the pond? Like <laughs> My craft, maybe you would like it. I have we no should idea. put some fish in it. What do you think? How about some carp? That's a nice idea. I tell you, being able to push this ancient-ass wheelchair on these broken cobblestones is quite a feat for well, anyone, but let alone a Let's small child. Let's visit your father's tree. It grows so fast, just like you. We could even build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. Why is it so weird that I haven't been able to see her face this entire time? I wonder if Speaking of that's your father, significant. Could you call him out, please? Mom! He's... I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No! Don't you dare say such things! You are a liar like all the others! Mother! Don't call me that! You aren't fooling me! No! Mommy hurts! My son would never lie! Mom, stop! Who are you? Reveal yourself! Please, to home! It's me, Sherlock! I've been dead the whole time. I was murdered years ago. That did not seem like an accidental overdose to me. So at least there's that. Seems like that was the case. My mother died from an allergic reaction after we gave her sedatives with her morning tea. Otto Richter tried to save Violet, yet Mycroft deliberately blamed him for her death despite John and I being responsible. Uh, hold on, there's more clues here. Mycroft accused Dr. Richter. After Mycroft caught Otto Richter, he blamed him for her mother's death. Okay. Um. Well. didn't see the side effects. Um, um, if I choose this, then what are my other options? So these are the only two choices that will lead us to a different conclusion. My accident or on purpose. So it's either Otto Richter was responsible or John and I were responsible. Trying to save me, the drowning was an accident and he desperately attempted a tracheotomy to save her. Mycroft hid the truth to protect me and wrongly accused Otto. Um... And I don't think it's this. It could be this, or it could be.
I killed my mother without knowing it. The idea you said this came from John. Uh, to kill myself, I must get rid of John. My heart had the truth to protect me. Uh, I killed him. I'm responsible for my mother's death. It was my idea to give her medication, which caused the allergic reaction. I killed her. It's my guilt. My car tried to hurt. It's either this one or Otto Richter did it accidentally. Um, <sighs> it's tough. Um, let's see. Let's go back. I can't go back. I can't look at the casebook. Okay. Um, I can't look at the casebook. So, alright, since these are the two choices that lead us to different conclusions, I guess let's look at them and see what we can recall. So, we know that uh, he was using experimental medications on him. We saw several letters to that effect, and we saw the medication, and we heard them talking about it in some of the memories. So this is certainly, yes, the case. Um, increased tolerance. My mother used sedatives so frequently her body must have built up a tolerance. It wouldn't be a danger to her. I would say that there was a risk of side effects, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the side effects were directly contributory to the fat. But let's see this one. Uh, throat would wound could either be a final humiliation by a killer or a desperate attempt to save her. So if, what if I choose these two? Okay, they're incompatible apparently, so they don't lead us to a conclusion. So either she did drown and it was attempted tracheotomy, or the medication wasn't at all a factor. And whether or not she drowned or didn't drown, okay. That is also an incompatible conclusion. I don't remember seeing anything that led me to believe that I intentionally meddled with her medication. I don't remember that anyway. Um, the fact that he did a tracheotomy on a drowning victim, I mean, maybe he was just a terrible doctor. Um, I, in the absence of any evidence that I actually did any tampering, I'm going to have to say it was an accident. Yes, I guess. Sherlock. Sherlock, can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry, you knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. Otto Richter murdered my mother, and Mycroft covered it up whisked me away from this place, buried me in schoolwork, and... and left the past to rot. And you needed a way to cope. So I helped. You were a lie, John. A fiction. A crutch. No, I was... I was a friend. Sherlock, please. Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. The truth John I is bear. stuttering. But now I must face it. And vanishing. Sherlock, what are you doing? You... You kept me in the dark and kept your actions quiet. You enabled Richter and his untested quackery for far too long. And worse, you wanted to lock up our mother. I wanted to give you a chance at normalcy, a childhood. There was no changing what happened, no good to come of dwelling in the past. 
It was lies upon lies. This Otto Richter was trying to save her, but you decided he deserved to take the fall. Is that justice? The big picture, Sherlock. The big picture. Perhaps Richter was not responsible for her fit of rage, but his treatment led inexorably to that moment. I agree with that. You were so fragile. I could not... I, I just couldn't. I chose us over him. Okay, that's wrong. I, I don't feel like he deserved to be you blamed know, for it, but it was his fault, like, these radical treatments. Perhaps now that the truth is out, I can actually do what you had hoped. Leave it all in the past. Good. You have your whole life ahead of you, Sherlock. It is time you got on with it. I was worried there for a minute, Sherry. Really worried. I didn't want to hurt you. So funny. I am talking to myself, John. I think I was hurt regardless. But we made a good team, eh? We explored every inch of this place together. Helped a lot of people. Terrorized a few too, I suppose. I think I may go so far as to say, Sherry, that I have not lived wholly in vain. So that's it. It's over. You've opened every door, Sherry. Faced the past you locked away. You don't need me anymore. I know. But I will miss you all the same. I don't want you to go. Yes. You do. Goodbye, John. I wonder if the blinking is intentional and it's meant to be him fading away, or if that was a graphical bug. Let's go to the cemetery. Why are you here? Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. Problem. You and I are not friends. In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy a boat. Ha! Is that right? <laughs> Fucking awesome. I, <laughs> I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. Yep. You questioned everything I did, everything I believed to... to break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur in silk. Spot on. Was it vengeance, Werner? Or do you prefer Klaus? Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. Do you hold me responsible for his end? Ha! There was no love lost between me and my brother. I am sure you can relate. Otto was merely the gravity that pulled me into your orbit. Or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep away. And why? What reason do you have for all this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest until I helped you to let go of the rock. And now... Nothing beside remains. Wow, giving yourself a I lot of credit. Remain. Despite you and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, 
I brought you something. I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. Wow. He really gives himself a lot of credit there. Like he did so much. <laughs> I actually like the painting. Though. You really <laughs> are beautiful. I'd hang that in my bathroom. Yeah. My brother returned to London soon after our disagreement. He enrolled at Cambridge University, but attends only the rare classes that hold his interest. I hear he took employment at a hospital laboratory, obsessing over his experiments. I suppose he seeks solace in the empirical truth of a chemical test. I am afraid for him. His evenings are spent alone, solving citizens' menial mysteries to pass the time. And I suspect he is growing paranoid. One of my agent's vehicles recently ignited during a surveillance operation. She was lucky to get out alive. There is only one man who could orchestrate such a feat. Or perhaps two. I saved my brother. He will never forgive me. I found it! I found it! And what is that? Hey, Sherry, 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 Sherry. How far, um, bruises may be produced after death? How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt, but practically... Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases often hinge upon how a man died. Now... We can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo, one will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Well, then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings, and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you? I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times, and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone, and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rouse because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. But those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rouse? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A Badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. That sets us up for the rest of the games. Well, I gotta say, overall, really pleased with the game, had a lot of fun with it, there were some points that were annoying, and I wasn't, you know, at all shy about calling those out. Uh, the next one in the series chronologically is Sherlock Holmes uh, vs. Jack the Ripper, which takes place in 1888, which is about 10 years or so after this one, 
and it's uh, a little bit of an older game at this point. I think it was released in 2008, so um, I'm not sure how long it is or what to expect out of that one. I'm not going to do any digging or reading into it, so I guess come back later, join me for that one, and in the meantime, have yourself a nice day, take care, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, goodbye.